Uh, hi guys, welcome back. I like how my character literally looks like Robocop, actually, with the helmet. I'm, I'm not joking, Pat. Come here, come here. Hold on, where are you at? I'm coming. Dun, I'm dun, coming. Dun, 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 dun. This is gonna be very appropriate. Holy shit, you do. He looks like a Robocop. That are, like, almost like Judge Dredd looking motherfucker. Yeah, it's gonna be very appropriate for what's coming up next, actually. Uh, so hi guys, welcome back. I am labeling this video, actually, as the start of Act 5, just because this is technically the start of the new content. Uh, just because some people were not really interested in the tutorialness, which I'm not really going to be doing a whole lot of anymore. Because, honestly, we're in the content which I don't know the boss fights really all that well anymore. So, um, th this is kind of new to us uh, now. Well, some of it is. We've played through the beta, which is some of the content. But anyways, um, I'll just give you guys a rough uh, summary of what I've done so far. So, so far I, I've been using a, a, a multitude of abilities. Earthquake and Sunder were really good. I'm using Sunder right now, just to mix things up. Uh, I have, I'm a Slayer with Bane of Legends, with a Cull for 20% or lower life, so it makes all the boss fights really easy in this game right now. Uh, and I have a lot of nice buffs here. Um, so, as I said, we're not really going to do any more tutorial stuff, so on to the new... Oh, and Pat can explain what he's doing. I am doing a support Scion using the Necromancer and the Champion Ascendancies. And a couple, like, minor uniques. So, what, this is one of the new areas actually they added, which was, um, they actually added a snow area because everybody wanted to, this is the first snow area they have, they've actually ever added to the game because uh, people have been actually complaining about, because they, they, they're thinking of like Diablo 2 and stuff, and they're like, oh, like, Diablo 2 has like a, um, uh, fuck, what's it called? The, 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 the mountaintop. Dude, don't look at me, I played the game one time. Fuck. There is the, the mountain area, so basically it was like a, a kind of like a snow tile set for um, uh, for for that game. So they they decided to, since it was in such high demand, they're like, okay, fine, we'll make a we'll make a snow area, which is nice. I think it looks pretty. Yeah, so this is the first snow area they had. So this is like now the the the, the top of the mountain. The mountain. Yeah, we're basically on top of where we were before, actually. Inside the mountain is where all those halls of bloody guts and eyeballs and beast parts were. All the beast parts. But this is, yeah. we, are, we are technically now in 3.0. This is all the new fucking content, all the new shit that we can now do. It's amazing, Mike. So as before, I'm listening to all the dialogue. I'm skipping kind of environmental lore sometimes. It depends. I'm not generally seeking it all out, and I highly suggest for anybody uh, to. It's a free game to download, so. I mean, so buy the game. Yeah, buy the game, which is zero dollars. So. Uh, I, I, just, just, just message me on YouTube, and I'll buy you the game if you can't afford it. But, but, <laughs> but hey, you know what? You know, if you don't, if you don't want to play through it, uh, that's fine. That's what I'm here for. Uh, so you know. It's all, it's all good. It, as I said, it's, it is a really great game, so... Pat is so far not buffing me at all right now. Yeah, uh, I am buffing you. I'm, I'm cursing, and I'm... <laughs> are my auras not on? My auras are on. Actually, I didn't explain curses at all, but... It's like a debuff on enemies, that's it. Uh, no, I, I linked it before when we talked over it. Okay, never mind. I don't, I don't remember. As I said, we're done with the yeah. tutorial. We're done... We're, tutorial's <laughs> over. Various debuffs, whatever. O only hardcore theory. From now on. So, Mike, what do you think about the mana reservation costs of various abilities across multiple characters? Uh, whatever. Let me, let me go talk to this the instructions. Captain Tavares. Altitude is imperative to forging a stable connection with the Prime Resonator in Theopolis. Power source is equally vital. Locate a fissure in the mountainside and lower a conductive cable into it. The deeper, the better. It will take an immense amount of thaumaturgical energy to execute the successful disintegration and transmission of objects, both inanimate and animate, between Highgate and Theopolis. For that kind of power, we must tap the origin. I needn't remind you of the consequences, should either of those elements prove deficient. That is why I would like you, Tavares, to be the first to test the resonator once it is operational. Accountability is a perfect counterweight to ambition. High Templar Dominus. Alright, you guys ready? We're gonna fucking Terminator this bitch up. Orioth <laughs> Portal. Dun 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 dun. Dun 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 dun. Alright.
Well, your zombies came here too. It ruined everything. Dude, you didn't even look at this guy threatening us up here. He like did his little finger across oh, his throat. I didn't fucking. Oh, I, I, well, we just fucking quarreled in. Why the hell is he threatening us? Because the reason, dude, we we probably look like crazy people. We. Why would you threaten crazy people, dude? Uh, because they're crazy, dude. I threaten crazy people every day. Don't start with me. That's like the worst idea imaginable, dude. Dude, if some bitch is just like fucking like portal in in front of you with like zombies and shit, why, why would you fucking threaten them? Because I'm a big badass Templar that can like shoot fireballs from my dick. But why wouldn't you threaten them? Fuck that shit. Anyways, we're in the slave pens with a giant, oh. a lot of X's on the ground. I wonder if that's gonna be a theme. No, no, it's just it's 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 just a, it's it's an excellent letter of the alphabet. It's near the end, you know. It's forgotten. Is it? Yeah. Well, it is, isn't it? it? What? What? You didn't know it's near the end? And also, I don't think about the alphabet very often, Mike. I'm a grown man. There's Oriath enforcers there. You're a grown man. You don't think about the alphabet. Why would I? You also come from hit country. Well, well, you. I, I didn't hear you complaining when we were giving you moonshine. <laughs> and what? And what moonshine it was? I know, right? You Dude, were there's like hands though. reaching up from the grates. What? You were complaining about the moonshine all over your car. Hey, I, it wasn't the moonshine that got all over the car. It was the wine more than anything. Oh, there was moonshine in there too. Yeah. Well, that's a toll. That's for a totally different reason. Did they get rid of it? By the way, I never asked you. Yeah, no, we got my. No, my car is all cleaned up. Thank you. Okay, good, good shit. Yeah. Never drinking again, huh? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Not that much. I think. What? 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 Were we drinking for like? Six, seven hours, and then like between the two of us, we took out a fourth of a um, mason jar of moonshine. I'm talking about an actual mason jar. Yeah, we we did like a we did wineries, and then because uh, I want to try North Carolina wine and uh, that uh, muscadine wine though, man, fucking hell. And then and then, and then some some someone was like, oh, you're from Canada. Fucking yeah, so we got the moonshine. Moon the guys from Moonshiners down here and got them uh, some actual wine. And yeah, well. Yeah, it was it was excellent though. I, I had an amazing time there. Anyways, back back on back on this amazing video game instead of like the lore between Mike Lott and Pat. The the Mike Pat lore. The Mike Pat lore. Uh, so there's some nice like there's some cool like little hands kind of coming out of like I actually like the environmental shit. So I like slave pens. So we're in Orioth. This is the this is the place we were exiled from in the story. What a story it is. What a story it is. I just yeah. wonder if we're ever going to go to uh, Namakanui and see like Hinakora or like the uh, Kurui uh, Archipelago. Uh, do you know the way to go here? Because I don't. Uh, yeah, it basically curves back in around in a giant circle. And you you can't get to where we... Huh? You follow the X's, I'm guessing? Uh, no, the X's are just everywhere. Okay. J just think of it like a giant square. We'll basically almost be back where... Yeah. We're pretty much right here. Oh, here we go. Okay, there's the boss. Oh, he's using the new ability. Oh. That means he's not threatening the slightest. I don't know. I, I've had some good success with that ability, actually. Oh, fuck you. It's a piece of shit. Alright. But it's Scion. Now we get to go up the ladder here and talk to everybody over Sears Tower. Oh, yeah. The Mother of Death watches over the city with great interest. You have joined us just in time. Before you lies a great many paths, each walked by a different life. But each must come to the same end. Eventually. See you. Ha! After everything I've done, it took an Oriathan to get these slaves up off their shackled asses and fighting. I guess the Templar should have treated their lessers better than their slaves, eh? Well, I'm not about to turn down a gift from Kitava. If he wants slave and outcast to join hands, then let's remind these Templar that they're flesh and blood, just like us. Utsula Makora is what they call me. I'm what passes for a chief around here. Well. I put the steel in their hands. I tell them where to stab, where to run, where to die. If that doesn't make me a chief, what does, eh? 
Blood isn't the only currency we need to earn to buy our freedom. We can kill all the Templar mongrels we like out there. It won't matter a damn if we don't get inside their stronghold, the Templar courts. Might as well put my bloody chains back on right now. Problem is, there's some sort of witchery surrounding the place. Only those who see the truth with faithful eyes are getting in there. The power of innocence. It's all in the eyes, you see. Yet blessed Kitava has answered my prayers and sent us just the pair of eyes we need. The ever-faithful Justicar Casticus. He's there in the control blocks right now, smiting my people with self-righteous fury. Find him and rip his faithful eyes out. Then I'm sure the good Justicar will be kind enough to see you into the Templar courts. Gouda. An exile returned? How is that even possible? Rising out of the darkness to claim the souls of our enemies like Hinekora in the stories my mother used to tell me. Well, your divine intervention gave us just the diversion we needed to take this tower. So if you keep doing things like that, then I might have to start believing in the gods again. And thank you for finishing off that last overseer for us. I don't know what sort of mother could have birthed that land-loving whale, but we were lucky he wasn't here when we took this tower. He'd have spread us across the floor like butter on a piece of bread. Here, take something for helping us in this hopeless fight of ours. Oh boy, a ring. I don't know what one I want, actually. I, I guess it's I'll best probably to get one of the double resist rings, to be honest with you. Yeah, I'm gonna get fire and cold then. I was gonna get fire and lightning. Oh, that's because you're a fucker. Whoops. And thank you for oh yeah. Fire and cold. Yeah, let's do that. Fire and cold. Oh, uh, mine is just we do this very poor. <laughs> yeah, mine's actually fucking trash too. Yeah, fuck you. I'm keeping my other rings. Unlike these assorted ignorami, I'm not surprised to see you here. The beast is dead, all thanks to you, I suppose. I was listening to the beast's death rattles when these lunatics broke in, wrecked the place, and dragged me here to tend to their cuts and bruises. Thankfully, I was able to bring some of my paraphernalia with me. The balance of power is shifting in your favor, O oh murderer of nightmares. If I am in possession of anything that might smooth the transition of governance, don't hesitate to ask. You'll find my terms quite reasonable. Some time ago, I fabricated a device able to sense and amplify the corrupt murmurings of Rayclast. A miasmeter. I listened to those whispers for years, lingering beyond sane comprehension. And then the scream. Such profound agony that my mind was nearly sundered by its percussion. I thought another cataclysm might be upon us. But no, it was you, slaying the beast. I was witness to a singularly potent cadence. This corruption, I am convinced that it holds the very key to our human history, and with it, our very existence. Yet without the miasmeter, I am condemned to deafened ignorance. It remains in piety's laboratory, as long as Utula's miscreants haven't vandalized the poor thing. Find it. All right. Tootles. That's all these guys. They are very long-winded, actually. They kind of are, aren't they? They don't refer to me as Duelist at all, what the hell? They also talk <laughs> slower, too. They talk slower. Alright, into control blocks, then. So they actually the, the Karui. Yeah, uh, they, well, they're, all the slaves are Karui apparently, because you know racism. Racism. You you notice that uh, Utalu or Utulu Mokwara, he goes like praise Kitab and all that shit, right? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that won't play into anything at all. Uh, yeah, no, not considering that we've heard nothing good about that guy for I don't know how long that. I did just threw a fucking net at me. 
Well, I mean, don't get hit, you casual. I mean, what's your death count up to? Uh, two. I've died zero times. Mike, I've died for the memes, okay? Oh, what is Breach doing? Is Breach helping out with the fucking slave you escape? Did. A moment of your time. No, he just wants us to kill someone. Oh, he's right up here. Uh, keep the target gotta, alive. Gotta kill the gar uh, guards. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll just go to here. Yeah, it's really not that hard. Oh, uh, there's efficacy support. More spell damage, more damage over time. It's skill effect duration. Oh, really? You can, you can actually do that? Yep. Damn, son. That's nice. A satisf you are proving far more. All right, we're we're not listening to that guy because he has never like really ever good to say. Uh, I disagree. I like Brigi, but he's again, he's about. one of those exiled masters that just somehow managed to follow us to Oria, I mean, which is across the ocean, by the way. I mean, he could just use the portal thing. They could have all just followed us in there, you know. Mike, the re okay, whatever, fine. But it's a one-way trip, so if we go back, then it's fine. Actually, I, I didn't actually look at um. Did we get everything else? Yeah, we did look at everything else. Okay, we're good. And uh, I, I really, uh, we have completed all the quests. And actually, did we also complete all the side areas? We totally did, so we're all good. Oh man, we got it. Utalumokora. These guys actually look pretty baller, actually. Like, look at, look at these fucking guys. They actually, they have some really nice art for this Act 5. Oh yeah, I'll give the, I'll give uh, DGG one thing. Their art over the years has gotten way better. I mean, it's it's always been pretty good, but yeah, it's just I, I, I will say though, if you pay close enough attention, you will notice very quickly that there is a very heavy Nazi theming to these guys. I mean, that's that's kind of the point. All right, now we get one of our big notables: uh, physical damage, attack speed, increased damage with ailments, which is not a big thing. So I have like four four thousand four hundred damage now. Now we have 4,900 damage now. Assuming, that, assuming that isn't Pat buffing me. No, Pat, Pat's buff uh, adds a bit more. Oh, that's right, I need to switch to this. There's occasionally broken uh, fences that you can jump through. Oh, we can see through the uh, through the place here. There we can go get some more shit over there. We'll see a lot more of their uh, Nazi theming when the light hits. Of course. It's actually a really neat, like, art design. By the way, you don't have to jump through all this stuff, we just happen to do that. Here's a Miaz meter. Because we're smart enough to actually keep movement abilities. I mean, it, you can still go through the stairs if for some reason you don't have them. Like, there's there's probably a path all the way up to there, but we're, like, lazy, so... Well, I just like showing up the fact that you can do it. Hey, there's a Timber Axe, level 41 Axe with four red sockets. Uh, oh, that one? E. I don't know. That's, that's if you wanted to try out axe abilities. I, I mean, it's more of a case of I don't want to waste anything on that because like we're, we're, this this weapon hasn't quite fallen off yet. I'd say. <laughs> no, no, not quite. I shall call you Micah Makora. Wonder, can I thunder with this ability now? No, it's it can you lightning really strike with a mace. Uh, I mean, you can lightning strike with anything. Oh, I didn't know that actually. They're not just not your fists. Uh, and that makes me sad. Oh, yeah. I like punching things in video games. Yeah. That are dual wielding shields. One of the two, but very few games allow me to su support that strategy. Dual wielding. Dual wielding shields. What are you? Yeah, to be specific. What are you like Halo? I, I never actually. I've never actually played Halo. What's what's the point of like fucking dual wielding shields? So you can just shield bash people all day. I'm gonna tell you it's rather unrealistic, Pat. Uh, so what's the? We need to kill Ju uh, Justicator Castius or whatever. Justicar. Justicar. You know like what? you played Mass Effect. You should know how to say that. I. I. Uh, it wasn't in Mass Effect. Ah, oh, here he is. He's gonna fucking bash, bash his fucking face up. There you go. He's dead. Eyes of Zeal. So literally taking his eyes. Oh, that's what Utalu wanted us to do. Yeah. Although I feel like that's a bit extreme. We do have a couple of rewards. I'm wondering if I should go back for them now, or if you should we'll wait hit for a waypoint. Point. Okay. 
Yeah. We have to eventually. We haven't seen any waypoints yet. Was there one in this area? No. I don't think there is. A uh, hallowed life loss is the next level. Ooh. That's a lot of life. Actually, this is for you. For me? Yeah, that's Ooh, that gives, animation. That gives some minion stuff. Oh, a moonshine ring. A moonshine ring. <laughs> Fucking moonshine ring. I swear to God, his eyes look like a pair of testicles. I'm sorry. I mean, it, they actually could be. Maybe he needs his testicles to get inside uh, of the fucking Templar core. <laughs> he just kind of cups his balls on a little plate. He's like, yep, you're the Justicar. It's a, it's a very sexist Templar yeah, we can go, course. We can go back and turn that oh, shit Oh, in. yeah, yeah, I forgot that this is the waypoint. Yeah. Very, very sexist Templar courts. You need testicles. Thank you. By killing Casticus, you've given us a fighting chance. And about his eyes, I'm sorry you had to do that. Yet although Otula's solution might seem brutal, I've seen Kadui men blinded with a hot poker, simply for looking a fraction too long at an Oriathan lady. Yes, this is war. And just a little revenge, too. Take something. A token of our thanks. Alright, we got a couple of flasks here. Um... I, I'll be honest, I'm not really into any of these because we don't really like evasion. Onslaught is okay, but I mean, we get Onslaught on our own. The Life Flask is probably pretty good, and also... Isn't there one that gives, like, a, the Smoke Cloud? Because that doesn't matter if you evade or not, because the blind just makes them miss anyway. I mean, I don't know. I I, I don't really care about that, honestly. Okay. I, I, I'm going to leech through everything, so I'm going to take the Hybrid Flask, actually. Because the, actually, the neat thing about the Hybrid Flask... Uh, maybe I want to add another property to that. The property is kind of bad on that, actually. We're going to add one more. Yeah, it's okay. So, we have right now a shit uh, mana flask, and this one's actually much better, actually, in a lot of ways. So, this is a quality flask, too. So, the way the way it works is, um, life flasks, kind of like, they, they when you use them, they stack on each other. So, if you use it multiple times, unless the effect is instant, it will just kind of, like keep stacking up the effect. However, you can use a hybrid and a life flask at the same time to get uh, to get life back, and they, those actually do stack. I didn't actually know that. They do. I'm 90% I'm, I'm sure they do. So they're actually, they actually work in Freedom synergy. Comes to those who fight. I might, you know what, now, now you're thinking I might be... I, maybe it's another game that did that. Because, like, if you, if you spam, like, the same life flask, it won't actually go any faster. Dude, okay, we maybe need to do some science and we get back into a thing, but uh, let me... Yeah, I think we need to do some science. Let me let me talk to this person. I simply can't express how wondrous it is to see you. What? No, not you, Exile. The Miasmeter. The hope of humanity lies in this beautiful device and the precious knowledge it shall divulge. Far more useful than an accidental hulk of meat and instinct like yourself. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised to discover that your slaying of the beast correlates directly to the strife we must currently suffer. At least you've proved useful enough to return the Miasmeter to me. That deserves some small reward, I suppose. Alright, small reward. Oh, pass point. Yes. Farewell. Oh, yeah. Alright, so now it's a big question of what do I want to go into now? I think more life would be probably the best. Should I go into the Scion Life Wheel? I, uh, I'm wondering how to get to the Scion Life Wheel, though. I guess I was gonna go through it this way. So, all right, we're gonna we're gonna head to uh, either that or endurance charges. I'm gonna head to the Scion Life Wheel, maybe. Fuck, I don't know what to do. I I, I would head to the Life Wheel. Okay, Life Wheel it is. We're gonna take the top path over here, and this is like a lot of clustered life nodes all together, so it it works out pretty well. Uh, how much time do I got? Uh, I think we got enough time to go through the to the Templar courts, basically. All right. Oola. I'm gonna do some science. Pat, where are you at? All right. Oh, there's frightened citizens. Oh no. All right, let me just, just take some damage. They're not damaging me. All right, I need to almost die. You need to almost die. Yeah. Become Super Saiyan. All right. Get that Zen guy. Uh, I mean, I'm regening really fast. Actually, let me let me put on uh, 
Okay. Let me, let me, I'm put on blood rage. They're, but... they're more focused on me for some reason, and I'm not doing Everybody anything. Everybody hates me. Alright, I'm know. gonna try it. No, I guess it doesn't, it doesn't do what I thought it yeah, did. Yeah, I didn't think it did. It, that um, seems kind of weird. It's another game then, that, 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 that's, that's the case. Okay, I was wrong. I was wrong. The, the life, yep. the life recovery is basically the same. I mean, it, it is something that gives you mana and life, You so. just killed that dude. He's just a frightened citizen. But he could become a zombie, I was thinking about you. Hey, look, look really, at Tora. Tora? Tora's just in the middle of the fucking, fucking uprising. Tora, really? Of all the fucking people? Look, she just made a fire and killed a deer. I hate <laughs> She killed shit. a deer in the middle of the fucking town square, yeah. Yeah, like, really? What is she doing? In winter! <laughs> Dude, it's fucking winter here, and she's killing deer. Oh my fucking god. That's actually fucking hilarious. That irritates me, dude. By the effect Oh, there's a there's a beast dead somewhere. In the in the middle I swear to god, if it's just in the middle of the fucking square and there's like a hole with like spider webs and shit, I'm gonna I'm just gonna come back and sink my minions on her. Because that's so stupid, it's unreal. <laughs> oh shit. No, you just have a whole they just have a fucking a hole of infected beast somewhere, it's like, eh, whatever. Dude, look at this statue. Which one? Oh, that's, that's some, like, serious, like, Roman shit right there. It's awesome, actually. I want that fucking mace. It's a garbage mace. It's a garbage mace. Pretty low level. So we're clearly helping out with the uprising by smashing the ground a bunch. Yeah, pretty much. I like how they're not really using these giant spiked fortifications. I mean, I don't know. What, what would they use them for? Block our path? I don't know. Everybody get behind them? Like, we'd get on a bridge and they'd come behind us in front of us and push? I mean... Fuck give it. us a good old squish? No one gives a shit about your logic. Why is oh, okay. it talking? Oh, here we go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> what is this? I don't know. Okay, this doesn't. This makes slightly more sense, but the fact that there's just a hole in the middle of everywhere, you know, whatever. Roa aren't even a naturally indigenous species to fucking Oriath. Well, that's why. That's why. My lore, Mike. Mike, my immersion is just. just Pat, they were. Right they now. were. They tunneled into here from under underneath the ocean into Rayclast. Okay. Oh, you mean or like ants Oriath. do? Okay, that yeah. makes sense. We 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 simply don't know. I mean, okay. Everyone, everyone's gonna find it. It's definitely gonna be her. Uh, I like those those birds out there. That's actually cool as shit. Oh yeah, dude, it's a statue of the Pope. Yeah, they're a very religious uh, society. Here. I mean, they have the Templars, Mike. Of course they are. Have you not seen their armbands with the uh, the, the little insignia they got on them? Oh, there's a waypoint here we can't reach, Pat. I think it's down oh. here. I don't really know, but because this is all new content to us, we but... gotta go put our balls on the plate. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I was right. It is over here. I guess they would have to do it like that story was, because the sign doesn't have. Well, the sign might have balls, but. All right, Temple Court's entrance. Oh, look at this banner. Does it remind you of anything, Mike? No, not at all. I, I don't. Okay. It's the original. The original Sonic character. One second, we can go back to town because uh, I think we're done with this episode. I, I, I yeah, we're done with this episode. They're so. their own original uh, faction, the Blotsies. <laughs> Blotsies. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching, and uh, all we'll <laughs> see, we'll see you next time. <laughs>